Hello all of you amazing viewers and welcome back to the Matt's Video Productions channel. Now for those of you who don't know what this is, you guys are in for an absolute treat. If you're anything like me and you love text to image generation models, this one is actually a shockingly good one. I actually held off on making this video for a little while because the last time that I tried this model it really was not that good, it wasn't anything that special. However recently this model seems to have had a few updates that have drastically increased its quality and now in my opinion at least this is one of the better text -to image generators on the market at the moment especially because it costs nothing for you guys and it has an app not only on the Apple App Store, but also on the Google Play Store. So here it is on the Android Play Store. I will link this down below for you viewers on Android. As you can see, when you go to the About This app, create beautiful artwork using the power of AI, enter a prompt, pick an art style, and watch Dream by Wumbo turn your idea into an AI-powered painting in seconds. Type in whatever you want to create, alien space station, city sunset, or anything you can imagine, and let your creativity take over. And it's actually number eight right now on grossing and design, which is really cool to see. I love to watch the AI community grow. By the way, these guys also have a Discord. And of course, guys, I'll also link the Apple app down below in the description for you guys to check out. Create artwork with the power of AI. And this Wumbo Dream AI art generator app also has its own community around it and you can upload art to your profile and such kind of similar to midjourney midjourney is a little bit more advanced and they've had over 65 million app installs but for those of you who aren't going to be using this on an android or ios device you can create with the link down below just through the website which is awesome as well so let's get started with wumbo when you're on the website at least you can just scroll down here and press the start creating button and you're just brought right into the ai creation screen it's super simple to use and completely free and honestly i don't know how they're doing this for completely free but the setup to create is super nice Taking a look here, we have up to 100 characters for the prompt, and today I actually want to give some of my Dolly 2 prompts a try. Let's start with this low polygon um, render of a lemon character. So we actually almost ran out of characters here with this one. I guess it is kind of a complex little prompt. And as you guys can see through these, they actually have some test prompts you can use. And then down here, we have various art styles to choose from. We've got a realistic one, a throwback, a malevolent. I'm going to choose no style because this is kind of like a Dolly 2 image. We've got Ghibli, melancholic. We've got psychedelic, HD. There's just a ton of styles to choose from. And you can actually input your own image too, or choose one of their base input images images to give the AI a little head start, so to speak, but I'm not going to do that today. I just want to see the raw output of this uh, isometric lemon character. And as you can see, it actually shows uh, the creation being generated in real time, which I like. This is similar to the thing that Midjourney does. And uh, yeah, that's not too great of a generation. I'm going to be honest. So let's go back and retry it again. This is free, so you could just do as many as you want. I'm actually going to go ahead and upload the original Dolly 2 creation as a base to start off of and we'll see how much this can do there's also a slider here to adjust the influence so we can do minor influence so the image isn't going to affect the generation that much normal influence so you know average influence over the final ai generated image or you could go strong i'm just going to do normal for now and again we'll do the no style option and we will start to create and as you can see, there's the base image back there influencing our final image. Nothing too great so far. Let's actually give it a style. We'll go realistic style this time. We'll see if that can influence things. I know these styles actually have a very large influence over the final product. And by the way, guys, this is no easy prompt. Most AI image generators would definitely struggle with a prompt such as this. And there we go. With the realistic output, we're already getting something a little bit more interesting, a little bit nicer. We can definitely see the influence of the original image, but it's definitely its own creation. So this is pretty cool. Let's just try Lemon Character wearing sunglasses in the realistic art style with no input image. Whoa, actually, that's pretty darn good. I have to say there is like a high coherency with this model it's not really good at taking two concepts and putting it together but it's good at rendering the concept itself like that is very clearly a lemon the sunglasses are well done this is like 
pretty close to early mid journey and this is completely free which is really nice and again it's right on your phone so you can just mess around with it whenever you want let's go for psychedelic art with photo of a chicken dancing around so everyone remember this is the psychedelic art style and this came out pretty cool it's a little bit abstract but you can see the general form of the chicken and definitely some colorful psychedelic lighting in the background one of the important factors here is that Every image that is produced by Wumbo is actually very high quality and you can just save it right here. And we can actually see that they are very, very high resolution outputs, about as high resolution as Dolly 2 or Mid Journey, which is really nice to see. High resolution is always something nice to have with these text to image generators. Let's give DNA Tornado a shot in the throwback style. And I will also give it this random stock image with minor influence and just see what we get with this. I really like Wumbo because it inspires a creativity. There's no prompt limit or anything like that. You can just mess around with random stuff and see what kind of images you get. And there is a small little community behind it as well, which is nice. And you can join that and share your creations amongst each other. I feel like the payments and the limits of the other models that are out right now, although they might be a little bit more coherent, limit creativity in a way. There's our DNA tornado in the throwback style. This is actually a pretty cool little thing. We can definitely see it's like sort of a tornado-y thing. We've got clouds in the background. It's very cartoony. And I guess this could look a little bit sort of like DNA. Cool art image nonetheless. So giving a few other dolly prompts a shot. Nothing is as cautiously cuddly as a pet porcupine. And I'll actually go with the Ghibli art style for this one. And I'll do a weak influence with that same image. Whoa, this is interesting. The Ghibli art style actually came out quite a bit with this. We can see there's definitely a porcupine down there, but there's definitely Ghibli colors and aspects to this. And that's what I love about Wumbo is that you've got a lot of these default random stuff to just try out. It's just so random and so creative and so much fun. Let's see if it can do something coherent. So we'll just do the realistic art style with no input image and see what we can get. Wow, that's actually pretty darn good, I have to say. That's a pretty coherent image. That's a photo of a Shih Tzu, which is a type of dog, if you guys didn't know. But yeah, that's that's actually a really coherent image. Like, shockingly so, and Wumbo is very quick, which helps with that. Photo of a lemon. Let's see if it can do this as well. Not so bad either. I mean, it got the inside of the lemon a little bit mixed up with the outside of the lemon, but nevertheless, that's actually a very coherent lemon image. It's important to note that Wumbo used to not be this coherent. When I first tried Wumbo months ago, it was nowhere close to this good. And we'll try one more realistic food photography of a cake. I should have had Wumbo on my list of Dolly 2 alternatives this entire time, to be honest with you guys. And check that out, we've got food photography of a cake. No complaints here, that's really quite good looking. That's almost a perfect image, I guess you could say. Really, it's it's really not so bad at all. Where Wumbo really shines though is its various art styles, the community around it, the fact that it's free and really does inspire creativity. So. Go give this application a shot, whether it's on Android, iOS, or the website. And if you guys make anything cool with Wumbo, I would absolutely love to see it on my Discord server, which is linked down below. You can generally chat with the community around this channel, send your prompts in to be generated by other users with different accesses to different AIs, and just share the uh, generations that you create yourself with different AIs. Either way, folks, I'm Matt Video Productions. Check out my channel for some other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.